CataractCoach.com. Total anterior segment reconstruction. IL removal, scleral fixated at IOL, glaucoma valve. I mean, this is a complicated case here. So our guest surgeon here does an amazing job of a very tough case. Let's watch carefully here. So a little bit of a pretty me here. There's the incision skull tunnel. The patient has already a PMMA IOL, which has been displaced, so that has to be explanted. The PMMA lens, as you know, cannot be cut in half. It's very hard. It's very rigid. You can't cut it, so you got to extract it whole. So there's the PMMA lens. It's going to require a big incision. A lot of scarring here of the, of the capsule and... Gosh, no, who knows what's going on in this case? Tough, tough, tough case. So getting that lens out is probably the first priority. And then we can focus on figuring out the rest of the case. So viscoelastic is your friend. I like that idea. There's the lens. Make sure it's not attached to anything. So I like the use of the micro scissors there to cut any attachments. Maybe there's some, some zonules still attached. Who knows? But cut all that just to make sure the eye well is free. You don't want to put any traction on other parts of the eye. There we go. Got the lens out of the eye. And now look. Oof. That looks tough. Going to need a pupiloplasty for sure. So tenon nylon to suture up the main incision there, the the scleral tunnel. And now let's see what we got here on the other side. Uh, Maybe another incision. So another pretty me, okay, a little more cautery. Oh, a glaucoma valve, I forgot. This patient also has high pressures and needs this seton placed. Wow, so, okay, that's why you have another pretty me that are located superiorly up under the uh, eyelid. So nicely placed, I like it. I like that the foot plate of that valve is placed very far back, probably 10 millimeters back from the limbus. That's super smart. Let's see here now. An entrance into the anterior chamber. And, oh no, pars plana. There's the vitrector cleaning up any vitreous. Here's where triamcinolone and helps a lot. I mean, this is a very tough case. On a scale of 1 to 10, this is an absolute 10 out of 10 difficulty. This is not a case for a new surgeon or a young surgeon who's just learning. No, 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 no. This is for a very experienced and advanced surgeon. And here we have our surgeon who has a lot of experience. So there's the lens, three-piece eyewall being placed inside the eye. And now, oh, look at this. Ready for Yamane. Scleral fixated eye well. Look at the ink marks that are being placed. Oh, beautifully done. Wow, this is such a difficult case. Now, the video has been edited. It's at high speed. And we're going to watch the whole thing in five minutes. This is a one-hour case. Don't think that just because you think you're a very experienced surgeon, you're going to get this case done in 10 minutes. No, this is an hour. An hour. And this case will take like a week off of your lifespan. So make sure the patient actually appreciates that. There you go, externalized haptics, Yamani technique there, nicely done. Place those within the sclera, very nicely done. Pupiloplasty now, wow, this is a complicated case. Look at this, remove the existing lens, that was done. Anterior vitrectomy, scleral fixated new IOL with the Yamani technique, a glaucoma valve seton placed, and a pupiloplasty all in one surgery. This is amazing. Now, this is an incredible level of surgical technique. This is a very beautiful surgery. So if you're watching this and you're a young surgeon, yes, one day, one day you can achieve this. But you better have at least a 1,000 cataracts under your belt before you even attempt this. This looks very easy. Our surgeon here, Ricardo Cabrera, obviously a very experienced and very talented surgeon. Because this case, I can tell you by looking at it, is very difficult. There is the, the glaucoma valve being placed, pars plana. Here's cleaning up the anterior segment. 
Wow, that's a that's a beautiful case. Now I know the page will take some time to recover, a month or two or three in post op recovery, but you gotta admit that is just a beautiful surgery. Very very talented surgeon. Thank you so much for sending this video to me. I enjoyed watching it so much. Let's see the post op. Wow, beautiful. Fantastic result, and look at this, and Cosmesis too.